Hey, what's up guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 15 Ultimate Team Top 5 video. Today, guys, what we're going to be looking at are the top 5 tight ends from this year's game. Tight end, definitely one of my favorite positions to utilize on the field within my offense. So it's definitely one that I've been paying close attention to throughout the year. I hope you guys will enjoy this one. If you do, of course, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and enjoy, guys. The first card on this list today, guys, number five, and that is, of course, Jimmy Graham. This is the NFL Movers card. Now, this is actually a duplicate attribute-wise to the positional hero set, which actually included a New Orleans Saints card, obviously. Very similar player art. Obviously, he's actually wearing in that picture a Saints helmet, but... Jimmy Graham moving over to the Seahawks, they did decide to give him a Seahawks card as well. Made a lot of sense, but look at some of these attributes, guys. 91 speed. Jimmy Graham, obviously, one of the biggest tight ends in the league as well. Six foot seven listed on this card. 96 Excel to go along with that 91 speed. So he is definitely a big playmaker, particularly in the red zone. He has decent strength at an 84. Not super overpowering, but decent enough. 100 catching that is always nice to see uh, you know you wouldn't expect anything less from jimmy graham with 97 jumping as well it, i mean six foot seven with 97 jumping you can make a case that this is the best face catching card in madden 15 ultimate team it is an absolute beast for that type of gameplay if that's something that you like to do he also has decent attributes with his hands on the ball which is of course the stiff arm attribute at 97, decent spin move, juke move, all of those types of things. He has an okay run blocking attribute as well. Not really anything great, um, but still, overall, this card is very, very, very good. Uh, it doesn't have the high end over 100 attributes that some of the other cards on this list do, but it's still very, very good. And like I said, with that six foot seven, the high jumping attributes and the speed, he is definitely a beastly card and certainly worth being one of the top tight ends from Madden 15 Ultimate Team. Moving on to number four, we have the ultimate edition of Rob Gronkowski, guys. Yeah, obviously Gronkowski had a monster season this year. It was a little bit surprising to me to actually see him listed as an ultimate team item. But hey, I mean, for a guy that's performed the way that he has when he's been healthy, it's really hard to argue it. This guy is an absolute beast, and they made him a beast in this game as well. Six foot six, 92 strength, 93 speed, 99 acceleration, amazing catching attributes as well. And the one of the more surprising things is that his run blocking is actually pretty decent as well. He has 80 run blocking, uh, and he it, it just overall, he seems to be just a great tight end, especially when you consider the fact that you add that 92 strength onto the run blocking and really Gronkowski is just an absolute monster if you compare him to the ultimate Mike Ditka you can see that he's pretty much an upgrade in just about every single attribute he is the same in awareness and catch in traffic but you know what we'll give up those things we'll we'll say that they're equal and that's totally fine but there's no question that the other areas Gronkowski pretty much blows Ditka out of the water in most of these attributes by three or more in just about every single one of the most important attributes that we look at, not to mention the fact that he is also three inches taller. So it makes sense, obviously, that Gronkowski was going for, you know, four times as much on a lot of, at a lot of points during the season than this Mike Ditka. And uh, yeah, he is definitely good enough to be a top five tight end in Madden 15 Ultimate Team, checking in again at number four. At number three, we have a tight end that unfortunately I never even had a chance to use in this game, and that is Kellen Winslow. Now, this is a tight end that I think a lot of people are going to su be surprised to see all the way up here at number three. But if you take a look at his attributes, I think he's deserving. I really, really do. Uh, you know, he's pretty much a beast in just about everything. The only real area where I don't really like him is if you go down here and take a look at his run blocking. It is only a 72 that's pretty mediocre. You have to you have to admit that. His strength also is only an 88. 
So he's not the best run blocker, but at the same time, I, you know, that's not really what I look for in my tight end, to be honest with you, especially not in Madden 15. What I'm really looking for is the ability to go out there, run routes, get open, and make plays down the field. And that's exactly what Kellen Winslow does. He is six foot five, so it is slightly, slightly shorter than Rob Gronkowski, who was number four. But he does make up for it with a little bit better jumping. He does have a 96 jump attribute versus Gronk having a 94. And he's better as well in speed. And that's really where I think the big difference between these two cars is. Uh, the Kellen Winslow at 95 speed. Gronkowski 93 speed. Still very, very good. But, you know, not quite as good as the uh, Kellen Winslow in that category. Now, where they kind of go back and forth. And this is why I kind of debated between putting Kellen Winslow at number four and Gronkowski at number four. Uh, I, don't, I didn't really know which one I wanted to put higher. But either way, I think that they're both very, very good tight ends. Gronkowski does have the advantage in catching traffic. He is too higher. Uh, but at, if you look at some of these other attributes here for uh, Kellen Winslow, you're going to see some things like, for example, um, let me see if I can find it here. There we go. Spectacular catch. 101 spectacular catch. That is really, really high for a tight end. I mean, I, I there are very few players in this game that even have over a 100 for spec catch. And T Kellen Winslow has it at tight end. So that's very difficult to find, obviously. And when you compare it, when you add that to the fact that he's six foot five and he does have good speed and everything like that, it makes him a very tough weapon to stop down the down the field. And I think, like I said, that's really the big reason why I like Kellen Winslow. Not to mention the fact that he has higher route running as well. He has a 97 route running attribute, which is very, very high for a tight end. So there you go, guys. Kellen Winslow, our number three tight end here from Madden 15 Ultimate Team. At number two, we have Antonio Gates, who... It's hard to argue that he deserved an ultimate team item. He hasn't retired yet. So my personal opinion is that none of the people who are currently playing should have ultimate team items. But regardless of that, Antonio Gates definitely going to be a Hall of Fame tight end. And he is absolutely deserving of being one of the top five tight ends for Madden 15 ultimate team. 99 overall. Look at that beautiful helmet and, and that beautiful jersey. You got to love the way that this card looks in addition to how it plays as well. Go back here and take a look at some of these attributes here. He does kind of have the same type of problem that Kellen Winslow did in terms of him having lower strength and lower run blocking, but the speed, the acceleration, the catching, all of those types of things, not to mention some of these run after the catch attributes that he possesses made him the number two tight end on this list. If you look at this, 93 stiff arm, 92 spin move, 95 juke move. Yeah, if you get him into the open field at all, Antonio Cates is just about as good as most of the running backs in this game. So yeah, he is definitely a beast down the field as well. He's got great spectacular catching at a 98, 102 catch in traffic. So if you throw up a fade route into the end zone to Antonio Gates, he is pretty much always going to come down with it. He is six foot four, so he is a little bit shorter than some of the other guys that we have on this list, but he is still absolutely tall enough to go up there and grab the ball. Great route running as well with a 91 and a 96 release as well. So Antonio Gates, again, I'm not totally sold on any of the, the previous three between Gronkowski, Kellen Win Winslow, and Antonio Gates. I'm not 100% certain the one that I prefer between these. I think they're all very, very close. And, it's, and if you look at the attributes, honestly, they're, they're almost clones of one another in a lot of areas. But I, I just personally think that Antonio Gates, the speed, the acceleration, all of those types of things combined, and given the fact that he does have some better run after the catch attributes, that just gave him the slight edge for me over some of these other guys. But again, all three of the tight ends that we just listed, very, very good and very deserving of being in the top five. And last but not least, guys, the number one tight end from Madden 15 Ultimate Team. And I don't expect to get much argument on this one. Yes, 24-hour boss edition Rob Gronkowski, an absolute freaking monster of a card, guys. This is the only tight end that I saw all year go for over a million coins, and it's still going for well over a million coins on, I think, every console. So that is crazy if you think about it, because there are not very many cards that are still going for over a million coins, and for a tight end to be one of them, that just goes to show you just how dominant this card is. 
Obviously, this is an upgraded version from the number four tight end on this list, the regular base edition. I don't know if you call it base edition or what. This the the standard ultimate legend Rob Gronkowski. But yeah, this one is better in absolutely everything. Just compare him real quickly to my Mike Ditka, and it's not even close. Five speed better, five awareness better, eight strength better. He's 10 higher in run blocking. So this is a beast of a run blocker in addition to being the best player in going out for routes and getting open and just being a monster down the field 101 catching 100 release if anybody ever tries to jam him good luck 97 route running and then that 103 catch in traffic absolutely insane guys he even has good attributes after the catch he's not as good as like you know I don't think he's as good as Antonio Gates after the catch or anything but when you look at some of these other attributes it is just so asinine this card is so damn OP and I guess that makes sense as to why it's going for over a million coins still 98 spec catch 99 stamina just everything is really good on it and what's funny is that even the injury attribute on it is 94 a lot of people talk about how Gronk gets injured way too often well, this card doesn't really get injured very often, so that's always nice to see. But yeah, obviously Rob Gronkowski, the boss edition, is deserving of being the number one tight end in this game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, of course, please be sure to do me a favor and drop a like on it. I will still be doing more of these throughout the rest of this, this uh, Madden season, I guess as you call it, before Madden 16 comes out. So if you guys are enjoying these, again, please be sure to drop a like on the video and let me know what else you guys wanted to see a top five of from Madden 15. Because we're counting down the rest of this year, you know, I, I mean, there's a lot of bad things in Madden 15, but there are also a lot of really good things from this year, and I, I think a lot of the cards that came out were a lot of fun, so I want to go back and kind of relive some of the best stuff that came out throughout the year and, and some of the best moments that happened as well. Um, maybe we'll talk about some of the best promos or, um, you know, some of the best plays potentially from this year's game if you guys are interested in that. So leave some suggestions below if you guys would like to uh, discuss some of those other things as well. And also, guys, let me know in the comments section below who do you think were the best offensive linemen from this year's game? I know a lot of people are going to say all of the, all, the uh, ultimate legend or the ultimate team offensive line. And I don't know if I could really even disagree with that. Those are the guys that I had on my team. But I know a lot of people liked some of these, the positional hero cards or um, even just some of the other cards that were released throughout the year. So let me know, guys, if there are offensive linemen that you think were better than others. I want to know who the five best offensive linemen were from this year's game. doesn't have to be one for each position. It can be five left tackles if it needs to be or, or whatever. I just want to know who do you guys think are the best offensive linemen from Madden 15? Leave that in the comments section below. Thanks again, guys. Thanks for watching the video, and I will talk to you guys again soon.